with that, let's bring in Brett Baer, anchor and executive editor of Special Report and Fox News chief political anchor. Brett, great to have you with us. Good to be here tonight. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, let, let me take a look at this Washington Post headline. Quote, Biden says Queen defined an era for a proud Irishman. It's complicated. That came from the Washington Post today. Your thoughts on uh, this reaction? It says, while Biden, an Irishman to his core, may not have revered the queen as much as some, he did not bow to her as many do. He honored her in his own way. That editorial today in the Washington Post. Welcome, and your thoughts on that, Brett? Yeah, I, you know, President Biden's comments, obviously, he... he was very gracious in his comments at the British Embassy as he signed the condolence book uh, yesterday. That editorial references his high Irish heritage and obviously the long, um, very controversial past between the UK uh, and Ireland and some of the reaction. Uh, we I read yesterday, uh, as this was all happening, the reaction from the Taoiseach, the Irish Prime Minister, which was obviously very gracious as well. But uh, the Washington Post editorial deciding to put his Irish heritage in there and, and his past. Uh, I don't think that's the expression of uh, President Biden. And as he's getting ready to go to this funeral at Westminster Abbey, there's a big connection as you look live uh, uh, in London at Buckingham Palace, there's also a Queen's Memorial outside the British Embassy here in Washington. We expect the British Ambassador, Karen Pierce, to speak at that shortly. She will be a guest on Special Report tonight. The Washington National Cathedral had a, a funeral uh, toll of the bells 96 times yesterday. I think you're looking at the British Embassy right there um, with the Queen's Memorial. Uh, and so there is a tie here, a real long tie and uh, a lot of, not a lot of talk about the the differences and and hearkening back to Ireland so let's take a look back at this from the time that Queen Elizabeth spent with uh, President Bush President George HW Bush and this photo that we have is of you can barely see the queen. You can see her striped hat just above the microphone. And it was sort of a, a comedic moment because a lot of people said all they could see was the hat and, and the microphone. And then she joked about it uh, in her address to Congress. Let's watch that. I do hope you can see me today from where you are. <laughs> And, and uh, it was also a historic moment. I think it's the only time we've seen a monarch address the U.S. Congress spread. Yeah, it is. And, and uh, there was such a, an interesting back and forth between various presidents with this queen. Uh, I covered the White House as chief White House correspondent during the time that uh, George W. Bush uh, held a state dinner uh, for the queen. And it was such a royal affair. It was such a big event. Uh, and I remember the images and the sound uh, and have, being a part of that pool uh, was, was quite something because of the pomp and circumstance around it. Uh, this week, you being in London uh, and the next 10 days is going to be really something to watch. And I think that America will watch it with as much interest, perhaps not as much, but a lot of interest around America uh, as there's such a, a reverence for Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah, you know, it was always interesting to watch her interactions with different presidents. And one of the things that Queen Elizabeth was most fond of uh, was animals or other people who felt about them as she did. And certainly Ronald Reagan loved to ride horses, and she also loved her dogs. I think we have a picture of the two of them riding together, and uh, she also visited him at the White House. But this is a great moment, the two of them uh, up on their horses out at Windsor, Brad. Yeah, it really is. And, you know, President Reagan spoke fondly of Queen Elizabeth II. I wrote a book about uh, Reagan and Gorbachev um, and their dealings in, in Moscow and all over the uh, negotiations as they had different summits. And, and Queen Elizabeth factored into some of that as far as uh, that interaction, their friendship. Uh, and uh, Reagan wrote about that. Uh, you know, I have a question for you, Martha, actually. I get all this social media incoming about the Queen. Uh, what is going to happen to the royal pack of corgis? Do we know? I don't have that answer for my social media. <laughs> 
You know what? I, I am going to get right on that. There are She's had, I think, over okay. 30 of them over the course of her life. And I'm sure that there are a lot of uh, royal uh, folks who work on the royal staff who will look after them. And, and maybe that maybe that's part of passing down the crown to Charles. Maybe he also has to deal with all the corgis, Brett. But we're going to we'll, we'll get on that. We'll tap into <laughs> some of our so. royal sources and find out what's going to happen to them. <laughs> Brett, thank you very question. much. It's great it to be with you. We're going to see, see you later. King I'll see you on special report. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.